Today we would like to speak about linear footage. This transportation term defines a calculation of the floor space which is being taken up on a trailer. Most commonly it is used to calculate LTL less than track load transportation rates. By default an item that is 5 feet long is 5 linear feet. To calculate linear footage just measure the length in inches, then divide it by 12. Nevertheless, this linear footage calculation can be influenced by the following factors. First of all, as you can see in this diagram, putting items side by side would obviously take less linear feet than putting them end to end. Secondly, turning items may also have an impact on the linear footage calculation. Please note that if you want to turn an item, the packaging has to be designed so that a forklift can grab them and load them turned. Finally, stacking your items, in other words, putting one on top of the other, will also decrease your linear footage. Of course, for this to work, your item should be stackable. This linear footage can then, depending on your contract or your service provider, be used directly to calculate your transportation rate, meaning the rate is per linear foot, or can be converted to a dimensional weight, which is then used to calculate your transportation rate. To do so, you will simply multiply the linear footage by a weight factor, which is defined by your service provider or in your contract agreement with them. We will look at this concept in more details, but first let us look at an example of how to calculate linear footage. We will now go over a simple example of linear footage calculation. We want to transport six standard US pallets. Length is 48 inches, width is 40 inches, and the height of each pallet is 35 inches. These pallets are fully stackable and also can be turned and handled from the side. The truck our service provider uses is a 53 foot dry van Haiku and its standard width is 98.7 inches and the standard height is 110 inches. If we were to put all these pallets end to end in the truck, we would end up with a linear footage of 24 feet as shown on the top view and side view trailer diagrams. Of course, this loading plan doesn't make any sense and the first item to consider would be to put the pallets side by side. These pallets can also be turned in order to further improve the usage of linear footage. It is also possible to stack them and due to their limited height and no stacking limitation they can in fact be stacked on three levels. Therefore the final adjusted linear footage is just a width of a single pallet or 40 inches which we divide by 12 and we get 3.33 linear feet. As mentioned earlier, once you have calculated your linear footage, it can be used directly to establish your price, or it can be converted to a dimensional weight using a dimensional factor, and this weight is then used to calculate your transportation rate. As its name indicates, this dimensional factor is a factor which aims to translate the used linear footage into the used capacity of a trailer. As the capacity of a trailer is generally expressed in weight capacity, this factor is in pounds and more specifically it is in pounds per foot, meaning that this number is the key to reflect how much capacity of the truck is used up by a linear foot. It varies from one provider to another, but it is loosely based on the expected carried weight of the trailer 
divided by its inside length. Let's imagine your service provider generally uses a 48 foot semi-trailer and expects a load of about 30,000 pounds. The inside length of a 48 footer is in fact 47.4 feet. Therefore, to calculate the dimensional factor, your service provider would take his expected load, 30,000 pounds, divide it by the inside length, 47.4, and then generally round the number. Based on these numbers, you could expect a dimensional factor of 630 pounds per foot. If we go back to our previous example, we could imagine that the pallets have a total actual weight of 1,850 pounds. Our provider uses a dimensional factor of 630 pounds per foot. And as our linear footage was 3.3 feet, we could simply calculate the dimensional weight by multiplying 3.3 by 630, which gives us 2,079 pounds of dimensional weight. As this dimensional weight is higher than the actual weight, it is this one, the dimensional one, that the service provider will use to calculate our LTR rate. We hope this brief video will have helped you familiarize yourself with linear footage and its calculation. Thank you.